Welcome, welcome to Love and Then What? Love and Then What? With your hosts, Rob Barnaby and Justin Judge. Rob Barnaby and Justin Judge. Welcome. Finally, it has begun. It has begun. Welcome to the Love and Then What podcast. Justin Judge and Rob Barnaby. I'm Justin Judge. That is him. <laughs> this is I. So, uh, an introduction to what this podcast is. We've been friends for about 23 years. Yes, very we, long time. We've met in, we met in elementary school. Yes. And since then, we've been friends basically the whole time. Yeah, no... Um, no downfalls on the friendship. Nope. <laughs> it's been all love here. It's all been love. Um, so the reason for the inception of this podcast is recently I went through a divorce and you've been married and you have a child now. Yes, happily married. Unfortunately divorced. Unfortunately divorced. Two opposite worlds. Two opposite worlds. Once the same at one point. At one but... point, we were trying to have a kid at the same exact time. Yeah, yeah. You had a kid, and we just started trying to have a kid, and we were hoping to have... And shit done changed. And shit done... And then bitches went crazy. Bitches went crazy. So the reason for this is, I when I went through my divorce, it was really rough for me, which it is on a lot of men and women. Mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with PTSD, depression. I had suicidal thoughts almost every day. I'd be lying if I said I still don't have those thoughts, mm -hmm. but it's a lot better than it was. Yeah, it's rough, man. I couldn't imagine. I mean, 10 divorced men commit suicide a day. That's three times more than divorced women. I'm not saying That's that this is pointed towards men or women. Mm -hmm. I would like to have women and men both come on this podcast. Mm -hmm. I want to hear both sides. I want to have couples on. Mm -hmm. Maybe people that went through a breakup talk about how that changed their life. But, yeah. you know, when I went through this divorce, I had friends and family. I had you. I had my mom, my sister. I had all these different people. Yeah. And I'm not cutting anyone else short. There was a lot of people that helped me. Yeah. It took a lot to pick me up from where I was. I was low. I was real low. Yeah. And when I've I was seen at, it. I witnessed it. When I was at work, I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. I don't want to talk about my personal stuff at work. I kind of try to keep it, you know, just on work. But when I was there... I'm at a job I'm lucky enough to be able to listen to music, mm -hmm. which is something that saves a lot of people. Oh, yeah. That's huge. There's songs that I oh, never yeah. thought I would listen to that never really clicked with me. And then I would listen to them again. And whatever emotion it gave me, it took me away from what I was thinking about. Yeah. I mean, no matter what, I was still in that same world. And certain songs you could probably resonate with more. And certain songs, there was a lot of songs about suicide and picking me up from that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some songs I just wanted to be, some days I just wanted to be sad. Yeah. I wanted to be low. I mean, sometimes I had to go in the bathroom and just cry, and I haven't cried yeah. in a long time, but I cried a lot during the divorce. Yeah. There's still some days where I want to sit down and cry. I bet, man. It's going to take some time to get over that. It is. But and you came a long way already. I've come a long way. I haven't cried. I've been picking myself up. But, you know. And this is helping you through. This has this helped going. me a lot. So. Another thing that helped me during my divorce was podcasts. Mm -hmm. It was just nice to hear somebody talk about, maybe they did talk about, their breakup, their mm -hmm. love story, which I could resonate with if it was a breakup. But there was also times where I just wanted to joke and laugh. Yeah. And I wanted to get outside of my own head. Mm -hmm. Escape. So, so on this podcast, I want to talk about love and life, but I also want to talk about things that get me outside of that, you know, that dark spot, that yeah. dark space that yeah. some people are probably going through right now. You got to talk about it. That's the key that's going to get you out of it. There's people right And other people that are going through it. They want to hear about it. And relate to it and just hear what other people got to do, what they're going through, and what you got to do to get out of it. There's a lot of people right now listening to this. Well, maybe they're not listening to it yet. Hopefully they yeah. will. But there's people right now that aren't listening to this that are going through a really tough time. And I want them to be able to have, you know, safe refuge with us. Yeah. Come here once a week. Relax. Have a good time. Maybe we can talk about those, those dark feelings. Yeah. Maybe we can talk about just something funny that happened yeah. this week. Like you said, 10, 10 people a day commit suicide. Men, that's just men. That's just men. So there's a lot of people that go through this and don't commit suicide. And, you know and, what I mean? It's not just, there's more people that commit suicide, but just because of divorce. And Sorry. So anyway, so like I said, on this show, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have the bitches be crazy clip of the week. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the romantic foul of the week. Mm -hmm. 
We might have other YouTube clips that we just pull in. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be all down. There's going to be happy stories, too, about people that are happy like myself. That yeah, I wanna, we got to hear both sides. Are in a good place and happy with how the relationship's going and have no issues and think people are crazy if they're not happily married. You know what I mean? But it happens. Absolutely. I want to hear from everybody. I want to give the listener the power to tell their story, no matter what side they want to tell. Mm-hmm. I want people to want to come on, maybe call in, maybe email us. Yeah, you can call tell us in. their story. You can call in. You can come in if you want to put a mask on. If you want to, we can change your voice. We don't have to be on camera. Or you can just call, tell a quick story about an experience, and be ten minutes and hang up. That's it. You don't have to tell us your real name. You don't yeah. have to, and we won't. We won't use any real names of the people that you're talking about. If I'm yeah. talking about my yeah. ex, I'll say my ex. You'll say your wife. Whatever it is, mm-hmm. we'll just use the basic way to label people. Yeah, we don't want to hurt no one's feelings or put anyone out there. No. But we want to have a different guest on every week. We want to give the listener the power to tell their story. Because mm-hmm. everyone has their own story of love. Whether you're in high school and you just went through your first breakup. Or you're a 45-year-old man. You just went through your second marriage. Yeah. You got three kids. You when don't you're a kid in your fresh relationship and your first breakup, you've been with a girl for a year. You might feel like it's the end of the world just like you were married. Right. Like it's the end of the world and you want to die. That's how you feel with your first love. You don't yeah. know what it is. So if you're young and going through it, call, come in, whatever. So we're going to, so again, um, if you do want to come on, it's going to be called, well, the email is loveandthenwhat at gmail.com. Love and then with an E, what at gmail.com. So we're going to have a good, never guess on every week again. If you want to come on, email us. You know, if, this is just, if you're looking for a break, uh, an escape from your breakup or whatever you're going through. Come on and talk to us. Call us, email us. Mm-hmm. We want you on here. We're going to have, we're going to be serious, but we're also going to have fun. There's going to be, you know, it's going to be about life after love and maybe love after love. Maybe you do have somebody else. Maybe I do have somebody else I'm talking to right now. Yeah. Maybe I do have positive thoughts about that person. Maybe I can love again. Yeah. There's really, I'm not sure. I don't know what, you're in the early stages yeah. of this. so This has only been maybe five months, I think. Five yeah. months about that. And I noticed a change in you when we started doing this. And you came to me with the idea and said, think about doing a podcast. I said, it's a great idea. And I already had a studio and I do audio recording and all that. So it's kind of my field. So when he had the idea, I said, shit, let's do it. Why not? People can relate. It seems yeah. fun. Why not? Let's, I want to do it out there. I want to do it. So people that are listening, you know, have somewhere, again, somewhere to come and just have fun once a week or just hear other stories so they can relate. Yep. It's the reason for the podcast. But again, we're going to have fun with this. Email us, subscribe to the YouTube page. And there's going to be a bunch of social medias that are going to come up right here. Yep. You can look at those. But let's start the show. Let's do it. Thank you again for watching that YouTube clip. If yeah, yeah. others like it, remember that like and subscribe button. If you have questions Press for it. us, go to our website and you can find our email, lovingthemod at gmail.com. You can also see other YouTube clips, highlights, previews to other clips, and behind the scenes features. If you want to listen to our podcast, go to anywhere where you listen to your podcast. And you can find Love and Then What There.